Love, light, and blessings. This is Shermanic Awak Priestess here, and I wanted to share with you guys. Um, this is a shelf underneath my two shrines. There is a difference between shrines and working altars. I work with um, various novena candles, which is a Latin word for the nine. So these candles traditionally are supposed to burn for nine days, okay? Um... Nine is a very sacred number in the paths that I follow. I work with various types of candles. Um, I do love work, double action, chupa rosa candles, love me candles, fast action candles, um, saint, various saint candles, um, plain color candles. Um, it goes all the way to the back here. Um, plain white candles. I'm trying to just um separation uh, this type of fast look candle as well black uh, plain pinks things like that rose candles so on and so forth um seven knob candles in various colors i'm just pulling out what's nearest to me so i have a little spiritual shop okay in my in my home <laughs> Um, if you have a condition, I have a candle for it, um, and so on and so forth. So, <clears throat> I am a professional root worker, so I always have to have supplies on hand so that I'm, you know, nothing worse than an unprepared root worker that someone needs a working and you don't have the proper tools. So, you see, there's candles all the way to the back. So, that's part one so this will be part two um as you can see the candles go all the way to the back um again different various saint candles destruction just judge um again various colors so plain it's like dust from the candles protection okay um so on and so forth seven african powers various saint uh reversal candles and just to name a few i do work in certain cases with tranquil spirits and things of the nature so i have a lot of spirits i serve and so um, and things like that these are used a lot for thanking them when they do work amongst other gifts that i give them but yes i have a lot of different novena condition candles so that's some of the stuff that i do i also use candles straight from haiti okay that are made in haiti that you can only get from haitian botanicas and i also use like this one's finished i'm going to clean this out hoodoo lamps okay i do burn these as well so i go all the way back to before candles were invented and i've also been known to make oil lamps using jars so i always have jars and cans so i do work with floating wicks as well so when someone hires me as a worker they might be uses for this they might be a uh, Hoodoo lamp, burning with your petition, so on and so forth. Okay, so this is part of my candle tour. Other types of candles I use would be figure candles. Various figure candles. Phallic candles. I, I don't want to show that because, you know. Um, skull candles, different. Various, very good for head work. And as you can see in the back there, various different colors, so on and so forth. My Haitian voodoo my Haitian voodoo oil on there so on and so forth I work a lot with palm oil too but we're gonna move on from that more saint candles here as you can see um, I use these more for when I do readings and in the back I have these that I get from the dollar store I use them as offertory because of the scents and stuff I like to burn certain scents that are pleasing to the spirits um, more shaped candles, so on and so forth. And I have a nice selenite always powering up my candles so they always charge, so on and so forth.
Okay, so I also use Voltage candles of various colors. I have an endless supply of black candles. Um, I work with chime candles of various colors and so on and so forth. So, um, yeah, this is like a bin of like a bunch of different um, chime candles and stuff like that. So, so when I do hauls, like this is why, because I do this work for a living. So I have to have an endless supply. I go through candles like there's nothing. So I always keep my botanica stocked. I use uh, beeswax also in my practice. Can't show you what that is. Um, so I use this, this, tea lights, scented beeswax candles and things like that in my practice as well because there's a certain spirit that loves beeswax. I also use different types of taper candles in different colors. Um, red is a very big color in my practice, so I use these as you can see. Um, I even have black because I know a lot of people like, I can't ever find black candles. I buy them at Halloween. And um, I order them online. Like, I always have a supply of black candles. That's not really hard for me to find. Um, I also use vigil lights. Um, I've been going using this. I love this. Raw Spirit gave me that. I've been using it a lot for meditation. Um, I have, like, thicker vigil lights, more voltage candles. So white is also a color that I always try to keep on stock because pretty much is universal. I love taper candles because there are certain spells that I do with these. Um, and I make my own, like, if I don't have seven knob candles, I... I can't buy them. I make them myself, too. So, I do make my own candles, too. So, And then I have my, um... There are spells that I do with tea lights. Um, so I like buying these little packets because I make symbols out of these and light these in a symbol form. Um, I have all various colors, different colors down there. I'm not going to dig them out, but I have white, black, purple, orange, red, blue lavender so on and so forth scented and unscented tea lights are a big part of my practice as well so when you hire me for a ritual i have a lot of candles i'm gonna do a second part to this another day where i'm gonna show you guys the different herbs and curios that i work with and um i also create mojo bags like i do mojo bags i do grease grease bags um, lucky handbags, um, things of that nature. Um, so I'm a very versatile root worker, um, practicing various traditions, um, all along the lines of African tradition, uh, African traditional religious practices and native spirituality as well. Um, mostly Taino. Um, so yes, and, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. But this candles, they get used. Like, these are different than the tour I did last time. Those candles are all gone. So this is a new stack. Um, that's why I have to charge for my work because I have to keep my botanica going. I have to charge for the supplies that I use and things of that nature. And also, you know, I have to make money for myself too for the work that I'm doing so I can, you know, pay back the spirits and stuff. So my spirit room is also partially a botanica. So, yes, that's why I do so many videos and I buy candles and stuff because I'm constantly using them. Like, these are not even going to last me that long. Like, they'll be gone in the next couple of months. Yeah. All right. So, love, light, and blessings. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like. Please subscribe. If you want to book me for a reading or any type of uh, ritual, wanga, um, the spell work or anything of that nature, shamanic priestess.com. If you have any questions about my services and would like to ask me privately, you can also email me at shamanic at at gmail.com. Shamanic priestess at gmail.com. Please only email me with serious inquiries, things that you could just comment on a video, just put it on the video. Um, I always respond to my comments. Please only email me if you want to book my services and or have questions about my services because you're thinking about working with me that kind of thing business inquiries only please anything else you can just leave it in the comment section on my youtube videos love and light bye guys